Hunger protest loses team as DSS grills seven foreigners. And the writer says police crackdowns halt protests. US, UK demand dialogue. Northern governors relax curfew. And another writer says Sanusi blames Kano looting on intelligence failure. Tension rises as soldier shoots boy in Keduna. That story is on page two of the Punch newspaper this morning. Good morning, my lovely people. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. I sincerely appreciate you all. My name is Blessing Akan. It's been a while on my newspaper review because I'm very busy with my studies and work. Yeah. So this morning being the eighth day of August 2024, I felt it is very important to share with you the Punch newspaper and a Jazeera newspaper this morning. And of course, we know that um, uh, the, the situation in Nigeria is so sad. Yes. And I keep asking this question, what brought us to the point where we are today? Like I said in some of my write-up, the protest is not all about our president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, or the political party, APC. It's all about the system, the system in Nigeria, the structure, and how it affects the masses a lot of things are not done properly in nigeria and it is affecting the common man and that is why nigerian citizens are out there protesting that things should be done right our system should work well our refinery should work our leaders should have our interests at heart so that nigeria can be a better country nigeria is blessed we have all it takes to be to get to the status of a developed country yes we have all it takes but then what is the cause of our problem who are those people that have loot us dry of course we know them but there is no problem without a solution our leaders should sit down and restructure our system in such a way that life can be easy for a common man again we have another story here we say the nigerian urges a coas defense chiefs to cope coups and that story is on page 14 of the punch newspaper this morning we have another story here we say the power generation hits three year high of 5105 megawatts that story is on page 10 of the punch newspaper this morning again we have another story here we say the olympics gallant D Tigres bow out in quarters final. That story is on page 31 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another story here. We say the oil thefts. Reps deny speakers 1.7 million dollar bribe for appointment. That story is on page seven of the Punch newspaper this morning. It's quite funny. Again, we have another story here. We say the crude crisis. National assemblies to prop NNPC Dangote refinery. That story is on page 21 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another story here. We say the CBN dumps 12 month forest policy with 876 million dollar auction. That story is on page 21 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another story here. We say the fair cues may linger till next week, says marketers. And the story is on page 10 of the Punch newspaper this morning. And these are the headlines we have here from the Punch newspaper. And quickly, I would like to share with you the headlines from... A Jazeera newspaper and our big news from a Jazeera newspaper is a Dangote refinery versus marketers. Uh, or Basin just calls for caution. And the writer says, Crit criticizes government about states of nations refineries. Hmm. Another writer says, says Nigeria sitting on the keg of gunpowder over youth unemployment. Another writer says, insists working refineries with will encourage investors of course and um, that story is on page nine of a jazura newspaper this morning again we have another story here we say the bauchi government imposes 24 hours curfew in azare that story is on page seven of a jazura newspaper this morning again we have another story here we say the protest those calling for change of government will face the law like seriously that story is on page 22 of the punch newspaper this morning we have 
up at Jazra newspaper this morning. Sorry, again we have another story here. We say the Abuja traders lament five days closure of business. Ouch. That story is on page 16 of the Punch newspaper this morning. And there are so many headlines here from a Jazra newspaper, I mean to say. So, I think I will end this review here for today. Thank you so much for always watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up until I see you on my next newspaper review. And it is our responsibility to be patriotic patriotic citizens of nigeria a change in nigeria is a collective responsibility like i always say our leaders should consider our interest the interest of the masses and lead us well and we sit